Hello everyone, today is construction day 146. Okay, no rest for the weary. Um, it's been a, a busy couple of days for sure. Uh, we did uh, video one and video two of Wilma interviewing me. Uh, so uh, we had some fun with that, a lot of comments, uh, a lot of banter back and forth. Uh, so uh, that was good and we got that done. Wilma's wanted to interview me for a long time. Uh, so, uh, you know, we can check that off the list. Uh, we have had a, a, a pretty strong low pressure system come through the last couple of days. Um, I mean, a lot of rain. In fact, two days ago, um, none of the guys showed up for work uh, because it was blowing so hard with uh, the rain basically going sideways. Uh, here in the Down area, the guys, uh, none of them came to work, so uh, we lost the work day. Um, and I don't blame them. I mean, it's dangerous to drive a scooter um, in high winds and uh, in the amount of rain that we had. I mean, a ton of rain. Uh, we were up here. Uh, we didn't video. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was definitely uh, rain and cats and dogs. And then uh, yesterday, uh, basically the same thing, not as bad. Uh, so they did work uh, yesterday, uh, though uh, Janelle doing some of the landscaping had to stop uh, several times just due to the fact that it was raining. Um, so he came in and did some inside work, uh, busy work, uh, while the rain stopped. So today it's a much better day. Um, so it's Saturday. It's the end of another work week. Uh, a lot of things going on. I'm not going to get into details with this intro. I'll just I'll give you guys the updates. Uh, but a lot of moving parts um, So let's get up to the work site and uh, see what's going on All right, so we can actually see the ocean uh, Today have not been able to do that in two days uh, with that low pressure coming through. I mean it was It was definitely a rainy couple of days uh, chilly and uh, miserable But uh, take a look at the steps uh, Looks like we have five steps in with the uh, fifth step being poured today. So we're using the uh, same uh, form and steps are looking good. Looks pretty straight for garden steps. And uh, I believe we're going to go from seven to eight steps. So we're step five, so six, seven, and eight. Uh, we should be good to go. All right, so if you guys remember, uh, they did not complete the aircon install. Um, they said they'd come back on Saturday, which is today. The guys are here, uh, so they are install installing the aircon. So, don't know if you noticed this or not, but uh, we lowered that aircon uh, by three inches. It was uh, three inches from the ceiling, and I had them lower it to six inches from the ceiling uh, just to give a little more clearance uh, you know it, it didn't look as good as uh, I wanted and uh, a lot of you guys commented on it as well uh, so we went ahead uh, today when I got here we asked them to uh, lower it which means basically they had to take everything down and uh, start fresh so the good news here is the second hole that they had to make so you can see up there they had to uh, cut another hole uh, to uh, have the pipes go through properly because of uh, drainage of the water and uh, same thing here they're going to have to lower this so they'll have to pull uh, all the copper out and dig another hole so now there's going to be two holes <laughs> uh, in the house but that all be uh, patched uh, with concrete but we wanted what we wanted the, that look. So the guys completed the two in the spares. So I told them leave those two. They're totally installed. Um, we're not going to be using these air cons in these two spare rooms very, very rarely. In fact, um, I don't even think we're going to be using the one in the main room um, just because um, we don't use air con now. Um, but it's here. Um, in case uh, we do need it, but I just wanted him to drop uh, this one down uh, three inches. Same thing in the uh, master bedroom. Um, I had him drop 
down the Aircon uh, three inches. So you can see this is where the original hole was. And they dug out a second one, so they're gonna have to patch that. And again, once it's patched with concrete, the Aircon covers that. So as long as it's sealed off, we're good to go. But they had to take this bracket down and lower it down uh, three inches. So now we have uh, much more clearance. So you can see they had to actually take the, uh, the air con uh, down. But this air con in the master will be the one um, that'll get the most use um, because I typically do have air con on at night. Um, but in the main living area, um, in Leyte, as well as the townhouse here, we don't even have air con. Uh, we just have a couple of fans and, you know, we've been fine for the uh, 17 months that I lived here in the Philippines. So here with this constant ocean breeze that's uh, in my face right now, um, as well as the elevation of 638 meters, um, it's, it's cooler up here anyway. Uh, so I'm really not concerned about the, the two spares, uh, but went ahead and made the drop uh, for the main living area as well as the master. So don't know if I've shown this on video or not, but remember they still had work to do because of all these cuts. So this work got done. So now the tile is done. Uh, this is where the vanity will go. Um, the toilet uh, was installed. Uh, completely ready to go so there's no water hookup yet but it's actually installed uh, actually in both bathrooms and then now today uh, they're working on the urinal a flushable urinal which will go right there uh, so you if you remember there was one tile um, that was not in place because they had to measure um, you know the type of urinal and, and where um, the exit uh, need to go the exit water so uh, they did have to uh, the pipe was up much higher they did that uh, you know by design they cut it um, you know put the uh, elbow in place uh, so it's good to go and then they had to put it in uh, uh, two half tiles here so that was completed and then today uh, the urinal will be installed no water hookup yet but um, the urinal itself uh, will be hooked up the uh, door frames um, have been uh, puttied uh, wherever there was uh, any imperfections and then they sanded the uh, putty and then now they got the first coat of uh, paint on these uh, metal um, jams. So first coat is on, they're working on all the, the doors now um, and our doors are actually here. So the way it's going to work is we're going to have white doors for the bedrooms so there'll be white doors and actually uh, those doors are the same type of door that we had in new york uh, right down to the material looks exactly the same there's going to be a barn door that we're going to have made um, that'll be a cappuccino color and it'll be on a rail uh, which we actually uh, purchased the rail system it's here somewhere uh, so there'll be a cappuccino barn door there and then there's also uh, a wood panel door here um, That'll also be cappuccino just to try to bring in a little bit of a uh, color uh, because um, Our furniture is cappuccino. So they're working on the doors So what you see is they haven't made any progress on the uh, ceiling uh, one because they lost the day due to weather um, and two, uh, they've, they've moved to uh, work in the doors and, and uh, toilets and things like that. And the reason for that is there's still a lot of electrical and you see they had to bring up uh, additional uh, conduit. So, and again, it's, it's partly my fault because there is a lot of LED lights in the overhang, uh, LED lights in the carport, uh, running all the uh, conduit for the uh, air cons. Um, all that needs to be done. So all the lighting uh, for the LEDs are in. You can see the junction boxes um, and then the snaking of all the uh, conduit. But for every light, 
there needs to be a conduit and wires for every one. And there's like 12 lights just here in the overhang, not to mention uh, every column is getting a light. Uh, so it's so intricate that uh, it's, it's just taking more time. Uh, so you got two guys working on the electrical. And then uh, we're not going to lose any time just because they, they took the two guys that was doing the work for the ceiling and uh, put them on doing the toilets as well as uh, the doors. So it's not going to change our timeline at all. Um, the contractor assured me that, um, but it will um, just reverse the order in which things get done. And then here is the toilet installed uh, for the spare bathroom as well. So nice toilet. Um, vanity they're starting to work on. So they're getting the, the pipes ready and then they'll put in that uh, last tile and then they'll start uh, installing uh, the vanity. So they're starting to do some of that work with the guys that was going to do the uh, ceiling. And then once we get all the electrical run, I mean, it's a lot. I think there's 65 LED lights that's either going up in the ceiling in the house or the carport, dirty kitchen, or overhang, 65. So that's 65 additional conduits, not to mention all the conduits for the air cons, all the plugs, all the outlet switches. Uh, so it's, it's pretty intricate. So uh, you just need a little more time. And then another curveball <laughs> is my Wi-Fi system. So that's more wire. So this is the junction box for the Wi-Fi. Here is the ethernet. So we're running ethernet uh, to this main room, to the bedroom, as well as out in the pergola to point a mesh uh, system out to the pool area. So that's all additional work as well. Um, so it's run up the wall. You can see it'll all be conduit at some point. They got the wire and they're gonna put all conduit and then they'll run a mesh system with another outlet because we need a 220 outlet up there uh, for um, the Wi-Fi. And then a little more complexity, we're putting in another box right here uh, for an additional ethernet cable to come here because the main Wi-Fi and router will be on the other side of this wall. And you know this is a concrete wall that's six inches thick, and the Wi-Fi probably will not, will not go through this wall. Uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and run another ethernet line uh, to this junction box so we can have uh, a mesh system in here so we have good Wi-Fi uh, for our cell phones as well as the uh, TV that'll be there. So uh, with all that extra wiring, they decided to postpone the ceiling a few days and move the two guys that were working the ceiling uh, to uh, other items inside the home. Okay, so in between everything else, Janelle has been working on the front of the home. So let's call it the front curb appeal. So we have our four block reveal, taking all this uh, beautiful, uh, black topsoil, putting it up for Wilma's garden. Look how much of that dirt she's gonna have for her garden. Uh, I think it's gonna be really nice. Uh, Janelle's getting the rocks in place. So you can see how he does it. He digs around it. And then, uh, you know, all that dirt uh, will go up. And then the final look will be here. So looking good. So he's 50% done. And if you guys remember, I guessed at like six work days to get this done. Uh, so he is, um, you know, by eye, 50% uh, done. And I would say he lost a whole day. So three, I would say three quarters of a day and maybe a half a day. So what's that, a day and a quarter? So in a day and a quarter, he got half done. 
So I would say another, uh, you know, say maybe Monday or Tuesday, uh, we'll have this all the way across. Um, and that'll be uh, just another project uh, completed. All right, so look look at the smile. Why, why are you smiling? Well, because finally we found a furniture maker to uh, build my walk-in closet. Yes. So today we had the official measuring of the uh, walk-in closet. And... Uh, Wilma was very much involved. So what we did was, I mean, we had a sketch. But we, what we did last night is uh, we went on YouTube. And of course, uh, using YouTube uh, University, uh, we looked up uh, walk-in closet modern designs. And uh, we watched about 30 minutes worth. And, uh, you know, stopped a lot of the videos, right? And idea. get some ideas and uh, we already had a rough sketch but you know we wanted to one more time go through and and uh, to make it perfect right yeah. so we found um, a local company now we had uh, two other we could use the company that did our uh, kitchen cabinets and is also going to build our vanity um, there was also another cabinet maker in Valencia that could have made the closet but we wanted uh, to use somebody here local in Dowin. So there is a furniture maker in Dowin, local, uh, BL Furniture, family run business, mom and dad and son. And son, you know, looks to be in his 30s and his name is Nelson. And I didn't video him because we were doing a ton of measurements here. Um, but he was up today and uh, took all the measurements. We gave him uh, photos. Uh, so we really think um, the closet uh, here is going to be great. So it's going to be the same on both sides for the most part. Now, the way we design this is this side is bigger than this side. Um, and there's a reason for that. What's the reason for that? This is my side. <laughs> <laughs> so this wall is bigger than this wall. So, and, and this is going to be a, a built-in uh, dresser, double dressers, uh, four and four. And then it'll be all the way around uh, hangers for clothes, dresses. And then there'll be uh, cubbies on top uh, for pocketbooks and... Uh, knowing how many pocketbooks Wilma has, she's going to have to use my side, all the cubbies too. And then below where all the uh, closet will be, will be uh, a single row of cubbies for folded clothes and then two uh, cubbies at the right uh, height for shoes going all the way around. And each of the two sides will actually uh, mold in and have uh, kitty corner shelves so there's no wasted space in the corners. So that definitely took some time to work that through with the uh, furniture maker, but we got it. So they're gonna do their own sketch uh, and then they're gonna give us a quote uh, I asked timelines. He said that he needs uh, 30 days, right? 30 days to finish it. 30 days to finish it. Um, it'll be all made by uh, marine plywood that will be treated uh, for bugs. Selignum. Selignum. And then he said there was another uh, a second uh, chemical yes. that they mix. There's no termites. So there's no termites. So that'll be done. Um, and then it'll be all painted white. He said some of it will be uh, made at his cabinet uh, furniture store, and then some will be uh, constructed here on site. So uh, more to come on that. But Wilma is definitely pleased <laughs> that uh, we're getting closer. Uh, to getting the uh, closet uh, installed 
and uh, we're going to move quick on it. So um, what I want you to do is um, once we get the quote, I got to imagine you're going to say yes right away, right? Well, we had to get this going. Yeah. Okay, so she wants a discount. So once she gets the discount, um, we're going to tell them right away. So I would imagine by Tuesday of next week, we'll tell them to, to make it. And, uh, you know, 30 days from, you know, one day next week, it'll be installed because we, we definitely want this installed um, before uh, we move in so we have a place to put things, right? Yes, definitely. So uh, are you happy that we at least got to the next step? Very happy. Yeah. All right. So Wilma's walk-in closet is in progress, in progress <laughs> and uh, closer to becoming reality. <laughs> I'm going to have to go out and get another job. Okay, so here is the remote control. Here is one of the four air cons, the one that's in the master bedroom. You can see we dropped it uh, down to six inches from the ceiling. And here is the big test. Do you hear it? It is on. So what we need to do is go to Aircon to Aircon, uh, which we did with the other three already. We tested the two in the bedroom, the spares, and the main one in the main area. So you can see there's a digital there. Uh, it says 17, so it's set for 17 Celsius, so it kicks on. Um, I can hear uh, a fan. Now let me put it on a swing. It says on and then you'll see the louvers there go up and down. And out there is the compressor which you can't even hear. So what they do is they let it run until water comes down the, uh, the condensation pipes, which took in the other units about, uh, about 10, 15 minutes of continuous running. Um, but all four air cons came on right away. And uh, this is the last one that we're testing today. All right, so I don't know if you can see the fan uh, in the compressor. It's running. The compressor's on. Um, so you can hear it out here in the carport, but it's, it's quiet. I mean, we're good. We're, we're good to go. Uh, we are a little concerned because it was uh, over the bedroom uh, window, master bedroom window. And as you know, the other three are out on the spare side, spare bedroom side. But uh, this is very quiet, so we're happy.